Consumer Electronics Show 2024, the world's largest technology exhibition, CES for short, just wrapped up in Las Vegas. That's where biggest tech companies make their loudest announcements and startups bring their most incredible gadgets vying for a share of attention and funding. How did CES surprise us this year? Well, with smartphone replacement gadgets, new humanoid robots from China, artificial intelligence everywhere, incredible concept cars for air and land, just to name a few. The most comprehensive review of the show, right here, right now. Xpeng Aerocht, a subsidiary of Chinese electric car manufacturer Xpeng, brought its impressive concept car transformer to the show. Ease of operation is really important as you don't have to take a full pilot training course and learn what all those buttons and levers on the airplane style flying car's dashboard mean. However, when the Eve Tall flying car will go on sale remains unknown. So this is x Aeros Aero's Evito flying car. In the driving mode, it looks super cool, just like a supercar. And then when it's in the flying mode, the propeller is going to spread out from the car body. And then the steering wheel is going to fold under the dashboard. So when you take flights, you only need to use the gear stick to control the flights. And it's very cool because the door and everything is just transparent. So you can see through the, a very wide view of the, of the scenes. Um, and the chassis and the screen, they're all transparent, so it gives you a sense of super uh, futuristic, you know. But the company has announced that by the end of 2025, it will start production and launch sales of another concept, the Land Aircraft Carrier. It's a large, three-axle electric vehicle remotely resembling a mix of a minivan and a pickup truck with a compact passenger aircraft, that's right, in the trunk. The car was not shown at the show, however, though pre-orders will become available later this year. Enchanted Tools brought its Miroki mobile service robots to the playground as well. The robots, which are native to France, are trying to stand out from the competition with their design inspired by either anime or Pixar characters. What do you think? Miroki is designed to be used in hospitals, nursing homes, and hotels to help move objects. The developers say staff will only need to issue a command like, hey robot, move this to another room, or bring this tray here every morning, and the robot should do just fine. The robots have four fingers on each hand, with one of them opposable, just like humans. But instead of legs, Miroki has a ball, so it definitely won't cope with stairs. But on flat surface, the robot moves quite fast, keeping their balance on turns and balancing and carrying stuff in their hands. The development of the robot has so far cost the company $17 million, but that doesn't let Enchanted Tools get all depressed since Miroki is currently being tested on six experimental sites and in three research laboratories. The company also has a contract with Brokel Hospital in Paris, where the robots are expected to start working this year. Augman Robotics presented its companion robot at the exhibition. The main feature of the Oro robot is that it's a companion for pets. It can autonomously move around your house, play with animals and spoil them with goodies, as well as feed them medicine if necessary. The developers assure that the robot is safe for pets and it's designed with their mental stimulation in mind. But you'll have to take their word for it here. Additional features include creating video stories for social networks and health monitoring, though it wasn't specified exactly how that's done. Oro Robot also integrates with smart accessories like collars and voice assistants, as well as third-party pet care services. Do you think your pet would like to play with this robot? Does 800 bucks sound too expensive? Leave a comment and let us know. Hello from Las Vegas and welcome to CES 2024. Here at Hypershell, we're shaping the future of outdoor adventure with our advanced exoskeleton technology. We're dedicated to helping users transcend physical limits and confidently venture into new territories. And now, we're excited to introduce the Hypershell Mountain Exoskeleton. Designed for both entry-level and advanced users, 
This five pound exoskeleton with a powerful 800 watt output and an AI driven motion engine offers smooth adaptation to varying terrains. It supports your adventure for up to 10 miles on a single charge and stands strong in harsh conditions with an IP54 rating. Visit our booth for a first hand experience and share your thoughts. Thank you for joining us at CES 2024. We'll see you there. LG, meanwhile, has unexpectedly unveiled its pet robot, or rather, AI agent. This is another attempt to create a robot that should be not just an accessory, but a real assistant in everyday tasks, as well as the control center of a smart home system. The concept itself is pretty straightforward. LG is offering an idea of home with zero labor, where artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things free your time up from the daily routine, as well as control your health and the mood of your pets. However, to make it all work according to LG CEO William Cho, the AI agent will first collect all the information about you, process it, and then start guessing your wants and needs adjusting to your schedule. The robot recognizes faces and users relying on machine learning to understand context, so its responses and communication are tailored to each family member. It's equipped with technology based on large language models, so you can communicate with it freely while going about your daily activities. The robot will meet you at the door, recognize your mood, ask you how you're doing, remind you to take your medication, and tell you if a light has gone out somewhere. We only have one question, is anyone going to want to even have a pet after this? It seems that many large companies thought, okay, 2023 was the year of ChatGPT, then 2024 will be the year of wearable devices and robots with generative artificial intelligence inside. Samson has been showing robots at CES for several years now and sometimes quite interesting ones at that. This year, however, instead of developing last year's projects, it showed an upgrade of an older concept, the Bali Home Robot. Now, the seriously grown and strengthened Bali is a mobile projector with built-in artificial intelligence capabilities. It can handle phone calls, smart home requests, and even feed your pet. It's also capable of responding and following you around like a puppy, telling you what to cook based on the foods the robot recognizes in your fridge. The projector itself takes into account where and how you stand or sit, adjusting the angle of the projection and its placement so that you're comfortable watching it. The robot has built-in front and rear cameras to detect and analyze its surroundings and can even learn the user's repetitive actions to automate various functions. However, it's disconcerting that Bali's work is only shown in a video. Whereas its predecessor from 2020 scurried around the stage responding to the speaker's commands. So the question is, Samson, when are we finally going to see your home robots on sale? Circuit Mess, the startup, brought its robo constructors to CES this year, which the company is trying to crowdfund through Kickstarter. The most interesting model in the lineup is an exact replica of the Perseverance rover which has been licensed by NASA. Circuit Mess is a team from Croatia that already has a number of successful electronics and coding kits, but the space themed series is the most ambitious thus far. The soldering, assembly and coding kit is available in different options in terms of hardware and even programming languages. It looks really cool. Any flat earthers out there, would you like to build yourself a rover like this? Chinese company Kepler Exploration Robot presented a new droid of the Kepler 4Runner series at the exhibition. According to the manufacturer, the robot will focus on embodied intelligence, a concept aimed at creating systems that can interact with the physical world in a human-like manner. Kepler 4Runner is 5'10 or 178 centimeters tall and weighs 187 pounds, which is 85 kilos. It has 12 degrees of freedom in its arms and a total of 40 degrees of freedom throughout the body. This design allows it to perform demanding tasks such as navigating difficult terrain, avoiding obstacles, and lifting heavy loads. It features technology similar to the Tesla Optimus, utilizing planetary roller screw drive and rotary drive technology for complex movements and control. The patented Nebula system enhances its cognitive abilities, providing accurate environmental awareness and adaptability. The robot is designed for industries such as manufacturing, logistics, education, and more. However, it can be seen in action only in the presentation video. But at the exhibition, well, let's just say there were a couple of cables sticking out.
Square Mine demonstrated its flagship product, a robot for skin cancer detection. The robot conducts autonomous skin screening, collecting a large amount of data processed with the help of artificial intelligence. Roborock unveiled a dream robot vacuum cleaner at the show. The S8 Max V Ultra understands and follows voice commands, can set up a video call, and most importantly, it has an arm that extends when cleaning difficult to get to spots. Other features include 3D scanning using structured light coupled with artificial intelligence, which allows it to avoid obstacles and recognize various objects on the floor. And after analyzing it, the robot will decide what to do with what it's found, remove or stay away. Let's hope at least this vacuum cleaner will not throw dirt around the apartment if it goes all kooky. Cooler Master once again brought its Shark computer to CES. We talked about it in our review of last year's show, which you can check out in the description below. Hyundai presented not one, but two novelties at CES this year. One of them is a new AirCab Supernal SA2. This is an electric vertical takeoff and landing airplane, which is scheduled to be launched in 2028. SA2 is an improved version of the previous model, that's right, SA1. The aircraft is capable of reaching speeds of up to 120 miles or 200 kilometers per hour and is designed for short flights in the city. The Supernal SA2 is equipped with a distributed electric propulsion system and eight rotary main propellers. It has a low noise level of about 65 decibel for vertical takeoff and landing, and 45 decibel for horizontal flight. The company said it doubled down on safety, environmental friendliness, and passenger comfort. The airframe design meets global safety standards and includes robust components, reserve systems, and key functions such as transmission, flight controls, and avionics. The cockpit with landing gear under the nose and behind the wing has a three-point contact zone. Whose concept is cooler, Hyundai or Xpeng? Let us know in the comments below. Also Hyundai's part supplier division, Hyundai Mobis, wooed the audience with the Mobian concept, which danced and spun in place thanks to its e-corner steering system. The articulated independent steering provides up to 90 degrees of steering angle for all four wheels, allowing the Mobian to move sideways into a parallel parking space, glide diagonally in tight spaces, and perform 360 turns with a zero radius in place. What do you think of these innovations? For one, we can't wait for these systems to show up in regular cars. Hyundai, please! Also at the exhibition was a new subsidiary of Hyundai, RC Lab Mobin. It brought to CES a delivery robot Mobin, which can climb stairs and change its height for easy loading and unloading. For now, it's a research project with no market release date, so stay tuned. Probably one of the quirkiest gadgets at the show was the $200 Rabbit R1. It's a pocket-sized AI assistant that can navigate your apps for you without having to pick up your phone. The developers were driven by the idea that people are already lazy enough to interact with apps through their phone. For example, to hail a cab, you have to take out your phone, unlock it, find the app, go into it, wait till it loads, enter your address, and only then hail the cab. Oh, the difficulty of life. So, Rabbit R1 is apparently going to save us all this time. Now you can just take out your device and tell it a command in natural language. Over 10,000 units of R1 were sold within a day after the presentation. How do you like this idea? The startup SkyTed presented its eponymous voice capture masks, which absorb 80% of the noise and allow you to communicate, for example, in public transportation so that others can't hear you. The masks synchronize with a smartphone app that also shows the user's voice level. SkyTed masks are made of a sound-absorbing material developed by acoustical engineer Frank Simon. The company advertises the masks as a way to play games and even has a section on its website dedicated to defense and military applications. 
The gadget will cost approximately $300, and honestly, I get one and just carry it around so I can put it on some people's faces in public transportation. Pivotal, a company backed by Larry Page, announced at the show the start of sales of its light electric aircraft Helix, which among other things does not require a pilot's license to fly. Although this doesn't mean that you just shell out $190,000 and that's it, go ahead, you can fly. No, each owner of the device will still have to undergo some training, so check it out. Time Kettle announced at the show the X1 Interpreter Hub, a new real-time interpreter designed for meetings. The developers call it, quote, the world's first multilingual simultaneous translation system. The system works out of the box without the need to download a separate app. In face-to-face -face meetings, two devices connect together to initiate translation of the conversation. The handheld devices include headphones similar to previous Time Kettle products. In total, the X1 can support up to 20 people simultaneously in five different languages. That's really cool. We could have definitely used one of these at the World Robot Conference trade show in China. For a review of that show from last year, check out the description. Volkswagen's big new feature at CES was the addition of ChatGPT to its IDA or Intelligent Driver Assistant. The feature has only been announced and has yet to be implemented. When will adding GPT to your product become passe? By the way, how often do you guys use ChatGPT in your daily life? Honda unveiled two concept models of its upcoming Zero Series electric vehicles, the sedan and Space Hub, and said the first commercial model in the Zero Series electric vehicle lineup will launch in North America in 2026. Honda's first Zero Series model is apparently based on the Saloon concept, a low slung roomy but sporty electric car that looks a bit like the computer graphics from Blade Runner sequel. Meanwhile, the van-like space hub appears at first glance to be a little less dystopian and more family-oriented. The company says the models differ from other electric vehicles in that they are, quote, thin and light and are made of sustainable materials inside and out. Details about them aren't really being disclosed. Honda's Zero Series sedan will have a spacious interior and the latest technology including an autonomous driving system. The Space Hub is a multi-purpose vehicle. The Space Hub is a multi-purpose electric vehicle that can be used as both a truck and a passenger vehicle. It will also be equipped with the latest tech including an autonomous driving system and a next-gen lithium-ion battery. The company plans to produce 30 electric vehicle models by 2030 including the Electric Prologue which will be released this year. The company plans to produce 30 electric vehicle models by 2030, including the Electric Prologue, which will be released this year. Israel's pavilion at CES has staked its claim on a manicure robot. The developers claim that Nimble is the world's first device that combines artificial intelligence and sophisticated robotics to flawlessly color nails. The robot resembles a printer refilled with nail polish. Its main advantages are no appointment necessary and speed. Nimble can polish all 10 nails and dry them in just under 25 minutes. The device uses high-res micro cameras and 3D imaging to determine the shape, size, and curvature of the nails. A small robotic arm controlled by artificial intelligence then applies three coats of nail polish. The robot is scheduled to start selling in March, priced at $600. Girls, who wants to get themselves one of these? Mercedes decided not to emphasize concept cars, but intelligent solutions instead to help and entertain drivers. Among the presented products was a new virtual assistant, MBUX, running on the new Mercedes-Benz operating system, MBOSS, developed from scratch by the company's engineers. It uses generative artificial intelligence and advanced 3D graphics to make interactions with it more natural, human, intuitive, and personalized. More immersive navigation is also claimed by the developers. The latter is planned to be realized by overlaying what the car sees on the digital gauge of the car. 
In the animation, you'll see digital images of people, other cars, or cyclists, all with route guidance superimposed on top of them. The main goal of Emboss is somewhat ambitious, which is to make the driving experience hyper-personalized, so much so that the car would become not just a birdie for the owner, but in general have a chance to replace his family and friends altogether. Wow, Mercedes, wow. CES was also the venue for the North American premiere of the CLA class concept based on the future Mercedes-Benz modular architecture, otherwise known as MMA. It's a coupe-style electric four-door sedan with a range of more than 460 miles or 750 kilometers. South Korea had a fairly large pavilion at CES this year. The Kotra booth in particular showcased Mandrill's RoboArms. The startup specializes in creating affordable and functional prostheses printed on a 3D printer. There were also solutions for urban farming from Hexagro. The company offers three turnkey solutions, an ecosystem of smart gardens, educational software that is an AI farming assistant, and finally an urban farming community that should foster social connections between urban farmers. French company DTA Aircraft Manufacturer also brought its first fully flight-ready EVTOL. Today, private flying transportation has become as mainstream as humanoid robots. Which of these technologies do you think has more potential in the coming years? Bet! Place your bets and leave your comment down below. Hey, so we're here at Catmind. This is a virtual office. The way you're looking at here is actually our office. Uh, we focus on really putting you in a 3D environment with your webcams, and that's live video, live audio, and not an avatar of you. So we think there's more uh, culture and connectivity by actually having you there with other people. Uh, it's a place for a company or a remote team to gather, all in one place, accessible via a browser, nothing to download, loads quickly, uh, has different privacy features. You can pop in and have a two-minute meeting, close the door and have a private conversation, have a group meeting, share screens, um, really is an excellent way for a fully remote company to all really be together in one place. While attempts to bring work and communication into the metaverse are somewhat meh, we'll see if such an idea takes off and keep you posted. Doosan Robotics unveiled its new Dart Suite robot ecosystem at CES, which makes it easy to integrate artificial intelligence into cobots, even for those who are not professional developers or integrators. This makes it easier to deploy robots, especially in industries such as manufacturing, logistics, and medicine. In other words, you can buy a Doosan robot and configure it to work the way you want it to work using easy-to-understand interfaces similar to a typical mobile app. At the same time, the robot will operate with a high degree of autonomy and will be completely safe for humans. And the artificial intelligence system will be continuously trained and updated, automatically downloading new modules as needed. Chinese company Horwin has unveiled futuristic concept motorcycles of the Senmenti series at CES 2024. Interestingly, in the US, the models are categorized more like scooters due to their form factor, including wheel size, handlebar height, and its position relative to the seat. The closest to launch is the Senmenti Zero. The electric motorcycle, or scooter if you prefer, has a 98 horsepower engine, goes 0 to 60 miles or 100 kilometers in 2.8 seconds, has a top speed of double that, and can travel up to triple that on a single charge. The model is compatible with most home charging stations and the battery charge is up 80% in just 30 minutes. What else will Sinmenti owners enjoy? A 7-inch TFT display, 4 riding modes, heat steering wheel and seat and safety features like ABS and front and rear cameras. Additionally, the company promises to personalize each rider's experience, but exactly how this will be implemented is yet to be revealed. So stay tuned! Also, what new products from CES did you like the most? Leave a comment to let us know, subscribe to the channel, and like this video. More coming soon from the world of high tech.